remember this one one oh oh hey everybody this is not a spring chicken today yes episode one for the travel suite today is going to be happening over at gibson beverly hills we're doing interviews these are pre cans interviews right people that are going to have films that are screening people that are making movies they need products oh yes i know does it give you some ideas anyway we're looking forward to a very exciting day of interviews Yes, of course. You gotta stay tuned because we have a lot of stuff coming to you. Oh, wait, wait, we do have news. Oh, we're gonna bring all Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Yeah, well, the Democrats and the President now have the Republicans on the run on higher taxes, on new stimulus programs, on gun control, on, on immigration, uh, oh, oh no, that's right, the Republicans have him on the run in all those categories. It's just the press, that it, the Obama mainstream media, that basically isn't exactly telling the truth about things. This was another great day for the President of the United States, as the Republicans are rocking backwards on their heels. That's not happening, folks. Aww, and Democrats rally behind the President over a debt issue. Benghazi. Oh yeah, they said they don't understand what, this is what is so ridiculous. I did hear one Democrat yesterday said, he said, if they're going to say that's old history one more time, he's going to go on the floor of the United States Senate and join Senator Cruz, whom the Speaker, of the, who the head of the Senate, Reed, has called a bully and needs to be taught a lesson, and tell him that that is not old news. There were people killed, their families are owed an explanation, and he's basically getting very tired of them saying that it's not worth the, that these people are pure. He said it last night, they're not worth crapping on, is what he said about the, what the president said. A lot of, okay, Benghazi is the Republicans' mean, and the Democrats' means to get rid of this president and put Biden in his place. You notice that Biden is more out front now than he was in the first term. And Lehman Brothers sues Intel over $1 billion in ceased collateral. Well, that's not going to happen. Lehman Brothers doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so they totally do not exist. A company that is non-existent and went out of business because <clears throat> they were fleecing, they, they, were, they were being naughty with people's money. Can't sue anybody. It's, uh, you know, well, we're suing in the name of the company that no longer exists. No, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> and this chairman asserts U.S. advantage in Sprint bid. Uh, well, yeah, because uh, Sprint, basically, if, if, if DISH gets Sprint, which they've got more than enough money to do, they, ha it, they already have a satellite system in place that's superior to the one Sprint has, and they can then go on, they can basically do an online presence, which they're not really able to do now. When Sprint can go, when, when uh, DISH can go online to compete with the cable companies that make satellites a major power, it means what happens is then they'll probably let DirecTV buy the collapsing T-Mobile, which basically keeps all the companies going. And smart new charger for smartphones. I know. Okay. They, they just figure out more things to do with smartphones. Actually, I've never seen a smartphone that really wasn't dumb. Oh. And taking sides in Syria is a hard choice for Israel. Well, they're not taking anybody's sides, but their own. They're not supporting anybody. They're supporting their own side. That's, the, that's not difficult for them, folks. It's called survival. And bomb outside Sunni mosque kills six in Iraqi capital. And the further we get out of um, Iraq, the more people are going to... It's getting... What happened is sometime during the Obama administration, when the last of our defense troops are out, they're going to, a civil war is going to erupt like you cannot believe because only the military is keeping all those factions from fighting one another. You cannot believe. While we're sitting here, we're getting ready for the interviews. I'm getting more tweets for people asking if they can come to do interviews. <laughs> We've only got so much time. Um, <laughs> well, no, okay, here's the problem, like, folks. On, this is live. On live, you basically... <laughs> Don't bring your cell phones into the library. <laughs> we're doing another. We're doing a. We're doing a live show. Uh, we're doing a show for two and a half hours today, and it's sort of growing exponentially. On us, we weren't anybody there before, but we got lots today. Um, it's called bomb. news. News. We are doing a live show this afternoon. And bomb outside Sunni mosque kills six in Iraqi capital. I know she's excited. Oh, she that's right. I, I know. You she know. Like... She reads these. Okay, that's how you know we're live. This is not rip and read. This is live. <laughs> TV. This is live. Okay, Hamas rebuffs Arabs for softening Israeli-Palestinian peace plan. Well, 
the, the okay, the, his, the, the, uh, the Israeli peace plan is that Obama gives them Israel. That's the peace plan. So it's not going to happen as they just, you know that they, uh, the White House is very undisturbed the fact that they, we thought that they had a good thing going between him and the Prime Minister Netanyahu and he didn't tell them they weren't going to attack once, let alone attack twice. <laughs> and four officials suspended in South Africa's widened Gupta scandal. Well, basically they're white, and so you, 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 in South Africa, uh, what happened was is that uh, there's one that I heard say, the, there's an awful lot of intelligent people in Af like Africa, like Nelson Mandela. Unfortunately, they're not involved in the government anymore. Yeah. And anti-EU party shakes British prime ministers, conservatives, and local vote. Well, yeah. Well, here's the thing: in in Great Britain, a conservative is actually a liberal which is funny, and they really want conservative politics to be conservative, not where you're handing the bank away, folks. Mm -hmm. And employment rises, February and March numbers revised upward. No, they weren't. I mean, I can guarantee you, people, more people are not being, high. okay, factory orders are down, orders in uh, store inventories are up, G you know, gas prices are going down, not because of the fact that uh, uh, you know, that it's being used so much, it's going down because people aren't doing anything. There's no employment out there. I can guarantee you because we live in a state where people are basically coming into grocery stores asking if you can ask them if they can have any money to buy groceries. <laughs> and anti-EU party shakes British Prime Ministers, Conservatives, and the local vote. Well, actually, we already did that. That's right. Um, Rubio's pitch to Conservatives on immigration reform, if you don't act, Obama will. Oh, okay, that, that's what the Republicans want him to do. They want him to act because as soon as he acts, because only the Congress of the United States has the power to do that, they will take him to the, they will take him to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court basically is very strict on the Constitution. He does not have the power to do. He's right now being sued personally, which is unprecedented. About okay, he's got an impeachment issue sitting right on his hands now with ordering the. Um, the ICE people to set down. The federal law is such he's ordered it not be enforced. He does not have the authority under the Constitution to order federal laws not to be enforced. Mm -hmm. And throw back a Jagger bomb with Mitch McConnell. Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. it, Mitch McConnell basically has got sort of problems at the moment. <laughs> he's going to be gone as, as the head of the Senate soon. Oh, he is? Yeah. And Chris Christie, Hillary Clinton to address Bill Clinton Forum. Yeah, well, that's got to do with global warming. Christie is basically finished. Okay, Christie would not drop any weight to run as a Republican candidate. He's now had surgery to drop, they said it will reduce his weight by about 125 pounds when it's done. What? He's that's getting a ready lot. To run for, he's getting ready to run as vice president on the Hillary Clinton ticket. They know he is. And... Oh, yep. interesting. And well, as a vice president? Because he's, he's not going to get to be president until he's done something on... Okay, uh, he, he's not going to get... An, the Republicans are basically never going to vote for him. The Democrats don't like him because he's a, he's a moderate. And he's going to have to go the food chain. The food chain is vice president, then president. Hillary, at the very most, could serve one term if that long because she's... She will be the second oldest president ever elected if she becomes president, mm -hmm. and it's not going to happen because the Benghazi thing is going to bury her. And North Korea missiles moved away from launch site. No, well, they said the Obama administration's work tactics have worked. No, they got what they wanted, so they moved two missiles back. That's all they did was roll two missiles back. They, you know, it's on a mobile platform for Christ's sake. They just move them forward just as easy. And U.S. official um, says. U.S. officials, Israel says no winds of war despite Syria airstrikes. Yeah, well, because they're going to do more. Like I said, Obama is really pissed about the fact because it's an obvious, they just put Obama on notice. They can strike anywhere they want, anytime they want, and he will not know what's happened because they seem that they have a stealth system that he didn't know they had. And Anwar vows to reform Malaysia election system. Yeah, to make it more one-sided. <laughs> no, okay, when the ruling party wins and is going to rule, going to work on the system, that means it's going to be made more towards the ruling party. Because Malaysia is also a god-awful Muslim country, folks. Espionage fuels China's fast-paced military buildup, Pentagon. Yeah, uh, and Obama is responsible for their buildup. I mean, our money is paying for their buildup. Can you believe that? Mm. 
And, oh, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Today, unfortunately, you can't believe anything that you see or hear anymore.